Hello everyone and aloha. Ken here, coming to you from Maui. In my last video, I talked a little bit about motivation and productivity when learning data science. Now, when I'm on vacation, I think it's kind of fun and interesting to talk about uh, the other side of data science, uh, which is balance. And balance in data science comes in two areas. The first is work-life balance, and the second thing is actually balance in your skill set. So we're talking about the balance between technical skills and with soft skills and presenting information. As usual, if you enjoy this video, please hit that like button. And if you wanna see more content similar to this, please subscribe to my channel. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is work-life balance. Data science is mostly sedentary. Um, you're also working on cognitively challenging tasks. And it's great if you really enjoy this, but we all need a little bit of a break sometime. So personally, for breaks, I enjoy physical activity. I like being outside. I, I enjoy things like that. Uh, and those are the things that energize me. Uh, for other people, it might not be that. It might be that you enjoy Netflix or you want to work on other coding projects. But we can't, uh, as humans, always be doing uh, the same work. I think that it is up to you how you uh, refuel and you know replenish your, your energy stores, but it can't always be uh, through data science. You know, it's a great field, but we do need some diversity in our life. You know, when you are replenishing your energy, uh, there are people that are introverted and there are people that are extroverted. If you come home and being around people all day is really tiresome, it might be best for you to actually go home and spend some quality time by yourself. If on the other hand, data science is too much uh, being in front of a computer and uh, you know too much with your head down, you, you need to socialize with people to gain energy, that's also completely okay and you should probably build that into your, your time when you're not working. I'm more of the uh, extroverted side, so I get a lot of energy by being around my friends, being around significant others, etc. Well, now moving on to balance within the data science field. So I know a lot of really good data scientists who are extremely focused on the technical elements. So they're great at building, you know, uh, engineering the data, building the models and productionizing them. But they sometimes don't necessarily focus or feel that the other side of explaining the information is all that important. On the other hand, I have people who have come from business or consulting like myself who are great at explaining and understanding uh, how to simplify the terms, but the technical understanding isn't always there. So what I would recommend is to at least spend a little bit of time focusing on the, the other area that you don't specialize in. Usually people coming from computer science, uh, understanding the power of visualization, understanding uh, how to weave a story out of your analysis is really important. And for people coming from more of a business side, a less technical side, it's really important to get into the nitty gritty details of the programming and the math. I think that if you're able to um, have both of these skill sets, it makes you a more complete data scientist, it makes you more employable, and it makes you, uh, well, it gives you the skills to get along better with your coworkers and to make more of an impact in your role. I wanted to keep this video relatively short, so if you have any questions, comments on this, please leave them in the section below. And until then, good luck on your data science journey.